Hi everyone and welcome to this drawing video. In this video I want to show you how to draw a cheetah. I recently watched a documentary where they followed a cheetah family, a mother with her cubs, and they really are incredible animals. And right after watching that I decided that I wanted to work on this drawing. In terms of the materials I used for this drawing, I used a mechanical pencil with HB leads along with a regular 6B pencil. Uh, the paper is smooth bristol board, and I also used blending sticks to smooth some of the shading along with a small eraser to add some highlights. But please don't worry too much about the drawing equipment, as long as you have any kind of paper and any pencils in front of you, you'll be able to create something similar to this. As you can see, I started off by roughly sketching a horizontal line. I, I used this line to help me align the eyes. The distance between the two eyes should be about two and a half eyes width, so once you've sketched the first one, you'll have a rough measurement. Uh, getting the symmetry is actually the most difficult part, but you could sketch more than one guideline, and I, I would recommend this. The guidelines are super helpful. If you take the distance between the eyes and then you switch that vertically, starting from the top of the eyes, uh, that's roughly where you can start placing the nose, and then adding a vertical guideline at this stage, right at the center, will definitely help you with this process. Then, underneath the nose, I roughly sketched the cheetah's mouth and chin. From there, I very lightly sketched some of the outlines of the cheetah's head, along with its ears. And at this point, keeping the outlines extremely light is important because you want to draw the layers of fur on top of it later on, and you don't want any of these guidelines to be showing through. With the outlines completed, it was then time to start working on the shading. And for drawings like this, I always like to start off by working on the eyes first, as they're one of the most prominent features, and I like to make sure they're going to stand out as much as possible. I added very dark shading to the outside of the eyes and to the pupil. Uh, within the eyes, I added a medium level of shading, with some darker shading towards the top and the left, making sure to blend this shading with blending sticks. Uh, to show where the light is hitting the eyes, I also made sure to leave a couple of highlighted areas, and then to show where the light is shining through, I added some highlighting along the bottom right with the small eraser. I added lots of dark shading to the nose, but I made sure to leave the outlines highlighted so you can still see the shape. Uh, leaving some highlights on top of the nose is also a great way to make it look wet and shiny, and just making it stand out, and also just it, it gives a bit more character to the cheetah. Um, I also placed a little bit of shading on the mouth, and then I blended that with a blending stick. After that, it was time to start working on the fur, starting with the short fur on the cheetah's nose. Uh, to create shorter fur like this, I like to start off by randomly placing short, quick, fine strokes with a sharpened pencil, or a mechanical pencil. Then once I place a layer like this, I then blend over the top of it with a blending stick, before then adding another layer of quick fine strokes with the small eraser. And then I go through this process a few times to build up the layers in each area. It's important to consider the direction the fur is flowing around the face, and it's also a good idea to blend in the same direction as well. When it comes to drawing fur like this, please don't worry too much about how it should exactly look. It's a good idea to have some reference photos in front of you, but you really don't need to copy them. Fur is always moving and changing with the wind, so your drawing will always look much more natural if you have a relaxed hand and you place the fur randomly. If you, if you think too much about the fur placement, it will actually take a lot longer, and your drawing will end up looking a lot more awkward. In areas like the mouth, where you want to create a layered fur effect, I recommend to add some blended shading to the area first, and then use the eraser to draw the fur over the top of it. Um, this is a great way to add more depth to a drawing like this, and it just helps to make the fur look more 3D. Thank you. 
It's the same process for the longer fur, but it just requires longer strokes with the pencil and the eraser. Uh, once you get into the rhythm of this, it can actually be really relaxing, just building up the layers with the pencil, then blending over the top of it, and then placing layers with the eraser. Uh, to add the first layers, I was using an HB pencil, and then later on, to add the darker patches of fur around the outside of the cheetah's face, I was using a softer 6B pencil. For any of the little patches of darker fur, I recommend to blend outwards from them, so you can keep the texture of the fur looking nice and smooth. I chose not to focus as much detail to the top of the cheetah's head and its ears, choosing instead to blur some of the lines with blending sticks, and just not keeping any particularly sharp lines, because I wanted the details of its face to be the most prominent and I wanted them to be the most eye-catching part of this drawing. For the final parts of this drawing, I roughly shaded a little bit of the cheetah's body, and then I added a mid-tone background. Then I used the small eraser to add some highlighted fur all the way around the cheetah's head, and this is a great way to make the drawing stand out on the page. Um, and it also actually gives an interesting kind of environmental lighting look. I then used the mechanical pencil and the eraser to add some whiskers, before also adding a few bits of grass into the scene. And after that, this drawing was completed. Overall, it took about 2 hours and 15 minutes to complete, and I loved working on this. Working on animal drawings is always so much fun, and I would love to work on more soon. I really hope this video helps out. Please let me know what you think, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos you'd like to see. Any tutorials, or fan art, or fantasy art. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, then feel free to subscribe, and any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. If you want to follow my progress and see progress photos before I post these videos, then check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support, I really appreciate it. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I'll see you all soon.